Malware groups do bad things, but like really bad things, not just fun bad things. Things that affect real people. Peter's going to talk to us about it on today's Not So Critical Update. This really pisses me off, and it's one of the, genuinely one of the reasons why I like being in cybersecurity, um, because it helps prevent attacks by assholes like these guys. This is the Hive ransomware group, and they have been attacking healthcare healthcare organizations in Costa Rica, and they forced the COVID nineteen testing results system to be taken offline, which is going to result in real people dying, probably or at least being really sick, I would expect that at least one person, probably more, is going to die as a result of this. Someone's going to get infected, and someone else is going to get infected, and then some old person is getting infected, and then they're going to die because of these guys. And it's, it's just horrible. Um, Hive themselves are linked to, to the Conti ransomware group, um, Conti are notorious for doing shitty things. Um, this whole attack on the Costa Rica itself has been going on for a while and has kind of really messed up their infrastructure. There's all sorts of stories like this, which I've been doing my best to ignore, but this one really kind of got under my skin because it's a real clear-cut situation. Give the decryption keys to these guys. If you're working for Hive... If that's your day job, uh, well, first of all, find find someone else um, to work for and send the decryption keys to to whoever's affected by this. Thirty public health care, health system servers. Like, I know you uh, just sucks. So, you know, I'm I'm gonna take a slight off, I guess, angle on this and say the, of course. Who is to blame is very clear. It is this group. But I think who's also partly to blame are these health provider software companies that, you know, the one that comes to mind is the biggest provider. I'm pretty sure they're called Epic. Um, it's either Epic Health or Epic Systems. I don't, I don't remember exactly. And these guys are like notoriously locked down when it comes to their access and documentation and systems. And of course they do that as a security measure. And I mean, like, I mean, to the extent where you cannot Google troubleshooting steps for their systems, you need to be like certified by them. And it's very, 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 very locked down. So imagine if you get a hand, if you get your hands on, you know, a hep Epic, um, manual of it, their health, like backend system, um, now you have an unfair advantage against all of these healthcare providers because you have access to the inner workings of their system. And then it's just basic scanning and you could figure out, you know, all of the different default, um, through like a service like Shodan, you could find a bunch of vulnerable Epic systems where mm. like, and I guess my point is it's, it's like this stuff should be open. more open. Yeah. And it's not, it, and it's really not like an open versus closed source argument. It's more like a, uh, an open, like knowledge argument. Yeah. 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 I, I get so it. It's yeah. an open platform. Yeah. Open. Yeah. Sorry. Are, are you saying that a company like Epic makes themselves more vulnerable by trying to be more secretive? It's I know it sounds really, yeah, exactly. I know it sounds really counterintuitive to the way, um, like the way I'm delivering it might be a bit shitty, but what I'm saying is, yeah, because they're they're using what Peter said, security through obscurity. But to the wouldn't extreme. that only apply if that was their only strategy, or is that what you're saying? Well, it is, I think their biggest strategy is to be very secretive about how their software even works on a user level. But um, do you have reason to think that they're inherently less secure on the back end? Well, yeah, I've, so 
if, go ahead. Uh, so, so jo John is saying that when you have access to uh, the inner working knowledge about the inner workings of any kind of system, and it could be like URL piles you use for logins, um, it could be common admin scripts, it could be um, locations for particular files. Uh, when you have that information, you can use it to scan for vulnerable versions of platforms and services, and it just helps you attack anything, any kind of piece of information you can have. So there's two approaches to it. You can have something where everything is open and you give away documentation for how the APIs work and how the internals work, and then other people can examine it, they can find the flaws, and they can get fixed. Or you can keep it all secret and be totally like, oh, no, you can't know about that because it might give away, it might help people hack us. Yeah. Um, and then when people do find it out, it actually means that that the system can be hacked much more easily. And using uh, services like Shodan or vulnerability scanners that just scan the internet and <clears throat> look for vulnerable systems um, automatically, once you find a particular vulnerability, then you have instant access to all those tens of thousands of vulnerable systems out there, which mm -hmm. are using the old out of date versions, which, you know, it's hard. So it's this security through obscurity thing where you try and hide how things work because that seems on the surface as though it might help protect you, but ultimately never does. Exactly. And Peter are you so saying always me. makes it worse? Mm -hmm. Like you, there's man. no. There's because they do this, they are inherently at more risk, even if their systems are actually secure. But it gives them the false sense. It gives yeah. them the false sense of pushing things down the line, kicking the hmm. kicking the can down the road. Because how do people know about this if we haven't shared it? This critical vulnerability one of our security guys brought to us. They won't know about it. They mm -hmm. can't know about it. We're not sharing anything about our systems. Well, actually, let's say your manual got leaked. It's being shared on some torrent sites and people figure out like, oh, look, port 9,433 is yeah. permanently open. Maybe they're using the default credentials that are written in here. Oh, shit. 4,000 of them are because I'm using a mass scanner like Shodan. So um, to be clear... To be clear, this company is not connected to the Costa Rica attack, correct? I, I'm I'm using Epic as an example okay. of how all of these health providers function, which is not all, most, because it is the health provider software, right? Software for health providers or or health insurance providers. And these they scenarios that like you're laying this. out with them being compromised, with a manual being leaked, do you have any reason to think that that actually happened, or is that all just hypothetical? That's one hundred percent happened, and happened too epic. And it's like not only well to to all like I could, I'm not going to do it now, but I could dig into <laughs> yeah, that. live game. I'm, I'm asking What's, like, are you reporting that this has actually happened to too epic, or are no, you just saying no, that no, companies no, no. like epic this, have I'm these using, kinds of problems? I'm using all of this in hypotheticals and examples. I am okay. Not I am I am scared of that company. I would never say something like that. Epic is terrifying. Especially oh, and they're 100% secure Arthur as well. Never had a hack. No, no, no. no, no. Um, <laughs> I used Epic because I'm pretty sure they're the biggest in the US. Okay. Yeah, biggest provider of these. But sarcasm but like, aside, also, I guess I'm still trying yeah. to understand, like, are you saying that this has happened to Epic or are you just using them as an example of something that could as happen? As an example. Okay. As, that it could happen, yeah. Epic, Epic has not been hacked. Okay. What I'm And the reason I'm tying this into Costa Rica is because... Most likely, these health, these, 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 this public health system is using these types of systems, and they're probably very, very ill funded. And this is what happens. Yeah, it's I a, mean, that's a, possible, but medical devices have notoriously poor security and outdated systems. They run very often on old Windows, God, maybe 2000 PCs, Windows XP PCs yeah. Yeah. for their operating system embedded. Yeah uh notoriously out of date notoriously vulnerable if they have a vulnerability at a hospital my guess is it's not one of these modern uh re medical record keeping systems it's some of the equipment that they already have are or you like most companies a, a a human attack vector are you saying that my example like epic is modern I mean, any cloud system, system compa compared to what we see in like medical devices, I would say, yeah, for sure. So I've administered many of these types of, of businesses, mainly health insurance providers, and their systems are not secure. 
And that's true because a lot of times they're just <laughs> fancy GUIs on top of some old AS four hundred application anyway. That's right. Yeah, I, I think this you were is... saying the same thing, kind of thing. I mean, they're, they're both insecure yeah. applications, and John's yeah. point is that one particular reason that why they're insecure is is that they try and do use security through obscurity, I, I and that's yeah. why hospitals are such such prime targets for these guys when they really shouldn't be. I feel like you should yeah. have what, like an ounce <clears throat> of of empathy to not decency. attack hospitals. Bounce yeah. human decency. Come just, on, guys. just a little bit. Of people are going to die. Okay, let's not go there because this is not capitalism. You don't this think is, so? It is. That's where, no. It is absolutely oh, no. capitalism. 100% it is not capitalism. It, it, it's crime, but it's capitalism. If I, target, if I target a Wall Street business versus me targeting a uh, hospital, like which one do you guys think is subjectively less evil? Well, they're both evil, but, they're but which is going to be well. easier to infiltrate and more likely to pay? They're looking for a return I on investment. Don't, yeah, of course they are. But I couldn't say who's more willing to pay because I can't imagine that the public health system of Costa Rica has a lot of money to pay. Well, they but they have insurance generally. Um, they also they, don't have money, the, probably haven't invested in their backups. They have fewer options yeah. for recovery if they don't pay. Yeah. They're yeah. going to be more desperate. That's true. That's also true. Yeah, healthcare's are, healthcare is is such a vulnerable uh, target for ransomware gangs, in particular because they they don't have an IT budget, but they do have insurance. Yeah, um, and they, you know, they also have people dying when they get right. shut down, and right. so yeah, it's it's just a horrible thing. Healthcare is I've been covering on that list a lot recently, and it, it just sucks. All everything attacking, it's, it should be a fundamental human right, and. Um, whatever. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Let's let's go go on to some fun topic.